Hello everyone. Welcome to Neutron Viz Academy. Today I would like to share the secrets of interior light balance. First of all, we need to know the purpose of lighting. When a light hit to an object, this will provide highlight and shadow area. Because of the highlight and shadow, we can not only see the color and textures but also the form of this object. This is the main purpose of the main light, the brightest light in the scene. There is only one main light in this scene. We can clearly see the color and texture at the highlight area, but the shadow area is too dark. In order to see the color and texture at the shadow side, we need to add a fill light. So, there is an intensity ratio between the main light and the fill light. This is known as the light ratio. The more ratio difference between the main and fill light, the more contrast we get, but the less detail we can see at the shadow side. If we want to get more details at shadow area, there will be less contrast. If we want to get more contrast, there will be less detail at the shadow side. So, it is up to you. The most important thing is that fill light intensity can't be the same as the main light intensity. This will cause flat lighting. That means no contrast at all. Don't forget to adjust the color temperature. In this photo, two complementary colors are used to create more contrast. After knowing the purpose of lighting and functions of main light and fill light, let's move to interior light balance. For the interior day scene, the sun and sky are the main lights because they are the brightest light sources in the daytime. The best time for the day scene is around 9 a.m. We can replace HDRI instead of the geo and sky, but please take care of the time that HDRI was taken. Then we need to adjust the exposure correctly, not too dark and not too bright. This is time to fill the shadow area. The easiest way is to turn on the interior lights. As I mentioned earlier, we can adjust the intensity of the fill light as we want. Don't forget to adjust the color temperature. But never be the same or higher than the main light. Then the last one is to turn on the decorative light to give a mood. Don't forget to adjust the color temperature. This is all about the interior light balance. Is it easy? Thanks for watching the tutorial. Please subscribe and get notified. Have a nice day.